Bird flu has now been found in over 160 herds in the US, which suggests that over a thousand cows are likely infected. You may be curious, why are we talking about dairy cows when this is a bird flu? Bird flu started in industrial poultry operations and then spread to wild bird populations, which then spread to the general wildlife population and then spread back to livestock to dairy cows. So let's rewind for a second. Why did bird flu spread in the first place? We use this thing called CAFOs, or Concentrated Animal Feedlot Operations. And in CAFOs, if one animal gets sick, lots of animals will be getting sick. I'm not surprised because our current industrial livestock operations look like this. So when an illness is brought into a big poultry barn, it's game over. These conditions are so cruel, so unsanitary. Don't get me wrong, no matter how beautiful and idyllic and open your farm operation is, there's always going to be the risk of disease and illness being spread. Spread. But there are some things that we can do to increase our odds of slowing the spread of this situation. We need to change the way we farm now. Regenerative agriculture is not only a much cuter and cleaner way for us to slow the spread of illnesses like this, but can also give a much better life to livestock. The more that we can opt for regeneratively raised animal products, the more that we can slow the spread of pandemics like bird flu. Visit our website to access our regenerative purchasing guide that can help you find food products from chickens and cows raised in pastures and not CAFOs.